everyone, I am Marta Kurtzão, also known as Space Microbes, and today we are going to talk about space microbiology. This is our planet Earth, home to billions of people. Well, except for six. Currently, there are six astronauts living on the International Space Station. The station is orbiting around the Earth at around 8 kilometers per second, which is really, really fast. But astronauts don't want to stop there. We all have the dream that one day we will live on the Moon, or maybe even on Mars. And as we explore space, there are two main questions that start popping up in our heads. The first one is, is there life on other planets? And can terrestrial life actually survive when it goes beyond Earth? First, there's something we need to understand. Space is a very harsh environment. Astronauts survive in space because they have spacesuits, or they are inside of the space station that is protecting them from the outside environment. But in reality, space is very harsh. It has very high doses of radiation, there is no atmosphere, it is in a complete vacuum, and temperatures can be really hot or really cold, depending if you are facing the sun or if you are in its shadow. What is surprising is that scientists have already analyzed some of Earth's most extreme environments, and they have found tiny life forms called microbes that are actually able to survive in these extremes. These are called extremophiles, or extreme loving microbes. But could these microbes actually survive in space? Let's give an example. This is mold. Mold, as in what we can find in our bathrooms or in our bread. To reproduce, mold forms very resistant structures called spores. And spore would love to be an astronaut. To test this, there's two things that space microbiologists can do. One is to expose spore to real space conditions. And the other one is to expose the microbes to simulated space conditions. Imagine, let's see if spore could actually survive on the outside of the space station, where there's radiation and vacuum and really extreme temperatures. How could we do this? As scientists, what we would do is put spore on a rocket and send it to the space station. In the station, astronauts would help us and they would also carry scientific experiments to test if spore could actually survive or not. Then, astronauts would send the spore back to us on Earth. And on Earth, space microbiology scientists would analyze the data and see if spore survived or not. What about Mars? How could we test if spore can survive on the surface of Mars? Well, Space microbiologists already did this experiment. How? Well, they used a scientific balloon. And they put this spore on a balloon and send it all the way up to Earth's stratosphere. Stratosphere, as you can imagine, is not Mars. But it has very similar conditions to those that you can find on the surface of Mars. In particular, it has very high levels of radiation. The balloon flight lasted for five hours, and then the spore was brought back to Earth, and scientists have analyzed their survival data. But what do you think? Could spores survive on Mars? Let us know in the comments below.